Open Heavens Daily Devotional Written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Today, Wednesday, November 6, 2024. Topic, Harden Not Your Heart, Part 2. Memory Verse I have surely heard Ephraim bemoaning himself thus, Thou hast chastised me, and I was chastised, as a bullock unaccustomed to the yoke. Turn thou me, and I shall be turned, for thou art the Lord my God. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 18 Bible reading Hebrews chapter 12 verse 5 to 11 And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you, as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards, and not sons. Furthermore we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits, and live? For they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure. But he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Today's Message Sometimes, when you hear from God, it may be a rebuke. However, you must still open your heart to Him despite the rebuke. In any case, I would rather God rebuke me than stay silent. If a Christian only wants to hear sweet things from God, but never wants to listen to His rebuke, he or she will eventually stop hearing from Him. You should be glad when God rebukes you because Hebrews chapter 12 verse 6 says that it is the child the father loves that he chastens. When David was rebuked in 2 Samuel chapter 12 verse 1 to 14, he did not harden his heart. Rather, he repented, and God continued to walk with him. How do you react when you hear a rebuke from your pastor? Do you harden your heart, or do you make amends immediately? No matter how influential a believer is in ministry, or how gifted the fellow is in the Holy Spirit, if such a person hardens his or her heart against God's rebuke, God can reject such a believer. 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 1 Psalm 51 verse 17 says, The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. If you want God to keep walking with you and speaking to you, you need to have a broken spirit and a contrite heart. God is not moved by mere religious activity. He is most interested in a relationship with you. However, just as it is impossible to have a good relationship with someone that you cannot correct when he or she offends you, God will not dwell with hard-hearted individuals. He said in Isaiah chapter 57 verse 15, For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is Holy, I dwell in the high and holy place, with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Beloved, when God rebukes you, whether through his word, a fellow believer, or directly by himself, never harden your heart. Hardening your heart against his rebuke will only lead to destruction, as we see in Proverbs chapter 29 verse 1. He, that being often reproved hardeneth his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. Do not despise rebuke from God, rather. Embrace his correction as evidence of his love for you. Prayer Point Please, Lord, help me to yield to your corrections at all times. A blessed morning to you. Do have a fruitful and fulfilling day in Jesus' name. Join us for Hour of Revelation and Prayer every Wednesday at 6 p.m. A time of refreshing also awaits you every Sunday at 9 a.m. as you attend our Sunday worship service. Our hymn for today is Hymn 30, When We Walk with the Lord. Be inspired as you listen, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
When we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a glory He sheds on our way. While we do His good will, He abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Not a shadow can rise, not a cloud in the skies, but His smile quickly drives it away. Not a doubt nor a fear, not a sign or a tear, can abide while we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Not a burden we bear, not a sorrow we share, but our toll He doth richly repay. Not a grief nor a loss, not a frown nor a cross, but it's blessed if we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. But we never can prove the delights of His love, until all on the altar we lay, for the favor He shows, and the joy He bestows, are for those who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Then in fellowship sweet, we will sit at His feet, or we'll walk by His side in the way. What He says we will do, where He sins we will go. Never fear, only trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey.